Imagine a hospital where the world's most skilled surgeons, the most innovative researchers, and the next generation of great doctors are all working together, finding the key to the future of human medicine. This place exists, and right now, it is discovering the newest, most advanced human medical breakthroughs through an unlikely source, our own pets. <coughs> pets are our best friends, but they also hold the keys to unlocking nature's most intriguing puzzles about diseases. Dogs in particular have a genome 90% identical to our own, and all of our pets share our same environment and are affected in many of the same ways by it. Technology is advancing rapidly. We take the information that we derive from the pets and we translate that into the corresponding genetic information in human patients. At the front lines of this new era of medical technology is the North Carolina State Veterinary Research Hospital, where research, treatment, and education are combined under one roof. These are real pet owners bringing in real animals with real problems, pets that would otherwise not survive. Each week, we will follow a unique story, learning how it can fundamentally improve human medical techniques and discover the never-before-seen procedures that this expert team of doctors and researchers implement every day. We do a lot of unusual cases. The strangest animal I've ever treated, probably a flying squirrel. Second to that would probably be a timber wolf. With each new patient comes an opportunity for new discoveries and breakthroughs. Meet Leon a dog whose rare condition will help push medical research in new ways. Spinal cord injuries affect over a quarter of a million Americans, and that number increases by 12,000 people every year. Current methods of treatment are slow, expensive, and without guarantees. But at NC State, the research has been done for a theoretical surgery for dogs that could pave the way for a revolution in human spinal treatments. Leon is a five-year-old terrier poodle mix who was lucky to be alive, having endured a damaged spinal cord since birth. But it appears his luck is running out. I took him to our local vet because he just wasn't responsive at all. He wasn't even walking anymore. They thought it was something neurological, so they told me to get him to the NC State Vet Hospital right away or um, they were gonna probably have to put him down that night. When Leon arrived in Raleigh, his condition was unlike anything the NC State vets had ever seen. Well, when we first saw that there was a dog that was just down in all four, we thought he, he had a herniated disc. And when we did the radiographs, we were, we all were shocked at what we saw. So Lauren, we've talked about the problem with Leon and that it's almost certainly a subluxation of the first two bones of his vertebral column on the back of his skull. In Leon's subluxation, the bone C2 is malformed at an upward angle. This angle causes an interruption inside the spinal canal, pinching the spinal cord against two bones. He is a unique case because he's older. He's almost certainly been living with this his whole life. And he's probably about four times, four or five times the size of most of these dogs that we see with this disease. The fact that Leon has survived this long is incredible. Any trauma to his head and neck, no matter how minor, could have severed his spinal cord. You know, he could have moved his head the wrong way and could have died instantly. Unfortunately, to give Leon any sort of chance, really the next step is surgery. Because of his age and size, the doctors estimate a 40 to 50% chance that Leon will not survive the surgery. And that is high. It's incredibly high. It's a very tough decision for you as an owner to make. You know, you have to weigh the financial aspect, the risk, not only do you have to make that difficult decision, you have to make it fairly quickly. Even if he does make it through, there is still no guarantee that Leon will ever walk again. By placing a cement base and several large screws into his spinal column, the hope is that these surgeons will be able to force Leon's bones into their correct position for the first time in his life. But due to the duration of the lengthy surgery and how close to the spinal cord the screws must be placed, this is one of the riskiest surgeries these doctors have ever performed. Hello? Uh, so I just got a call from NC State and he made it out of surgery. 
he's alive, um, but he's not quite out of the woods yet, so I'm going to go to the hospital and talk to the doctor. He made it through surgery very well. Uh, I was quite happy with that. We have screws going into both bones. The cement plug is there on the bottom, and the root of the spinal cord flows into the back of the skull fairly normally. The fact that he can move all of his legs is encouraging, but whether he'll get back to being a dog who can go out in the yard and run around, we just don't know. First, what we're going to do is position his paws. Good. When Leon was brought here, he could barely keep his head above water. And now, if you put a harness on Leon, he can actually walk outside. It's kind of amazing how much he's changed. He's so much happier, and he's definitely, I've noticed, he's getting stronger every week. But if he's improving still every week, there's no reason to think he won't keep improving. Leon recovering with the odds he had is absolutely a miracle. I know if we hadn't taken him to this hospital, he would not be here today, and we wouldn't have been able to go walk in the park. If he didn't have the surgery, I probably would say he wouldn't be with us as long as he has. It's phenomenal to watch owners leave with a smile on their face. It's very exciting when you have a hard-won victory, an animal that we didn't maybe think was going to make it or was very close. And I mean, these are family members that we're taking care of. Leon is a research case at the hospital now, so the work they did on him, they could use someday for human spinal cord injuries. This is happening all the time. We have people flying in from all over the country to see our specialists. The role of animals within our world is, is changing. We need to change along with it. At the NC State Veterinary Hospital, the next phase of medical care is just beginning, creating hope where we never thought it was possible. Man's best chance.